What's good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Conspiracy from Radical. Before we fire this one up, be sure you subscribe to the channel. It's free, it's easy, and it is the best way to help us bring you the best non-biased and cross-brand reviews in bowling. While you're down there, be sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on the next review. Six years and five releases later, Radical brings back the original black and yellow Conspiracy, this time updated with that HK22 plus solid cover finished a 2000 grit out of the box. Just like the original, this one features the strong Conspiracy core with a low 2.48 RG, a big 056 differential, and a really strong 021 intermediate diff. For the layout, I decided to go with a 4x4.5x5.5 by four and a half by five and a half 2LS layouts. Now, this is a new layout for me on a solid ASIN that's meant to encourage strength and overall shape, but there's also supposed to be a lot of continuation through pins. This layout, although it's unique, is one that is really meant to amplify the natural strengths of the Conspiracy and should turn this one into a killer in the high oil volume environment. And on the lanes, when it did the right thing, the Conspiracy is probably the most fun shape I've thrown in a while. The only problem is that right thing was really hard to reproduce. Brunswick has done a great job implementing the HK22 base material in their Hybrid and Pearl releases, and this one from Radical feels like a step in the right direction for their solid cover stocks, but it's not 100% there yet, and the inconsistent performance is a result of that delayed progress. But man, when I get the conspiracy to clear the mid lane just that little bit extra, and you see that huge core start to take over and just ram through the pins, man, oh man. That's the shape I see when I dream about bowling. I remember a time not long ago that big solid ASIMs just couldn't make this kind of a shape. They would all roll out and you had to play most of them direct up the lane, but this conspiracy likes to shape and shape a lot. So on the list of downsides, the biggest one is how the logic of the conspiracy doesn't really match up with how most bowlers think about big solid ASIMs. Thinking about the difference between this one and say the mindset from Brunswick, I don't think they're anywhere near each other even though they would fill a similar part of an arsenal. If you can get over the preconceived notion of where this ball should strike and just move into where it does strike, it will serve you very well. That will then work even better when you pair it with a track Paragon Pearl and a DV8 Verge Hybrid. The Paragon has a similarly large core, but the cover is much different than the Conspiracy. And then the Verge Hybrid is one of the stronger symmetrical options available out of the brands of Brunswick and gets close to matching the cover strength of this Conspiracy. It's a high risk, high reward kind of arsenal, but when you match up with it, the scores could be huge. Jumping to our cross-brand comparisons, I first took a look at the Harsh Reality from 900 Global, and here I see a piece that is both cleaner and quicker off the spot than the Conspiracy. It's a surprising comparison because the Harsh Reality is actually duller out of the box than the Conspiracy, but my eyes aren't fooling me here. Lower rev rate bowlers that need that extra mid lane strength will likely lean more towards the Conspiracy. Then I took a look at the DV8 Hater because honestly, these two on paper feel like they fit the same spot in a bag and I needed to know why they released him at the exact same time. The Hater is much less continuous off the spot than the Conspiracy, but just as strong overall. The Hater provides us the earliest read of our three comparisons and uses that to control the pocket on demanding conditions. But with that, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers that I think would match up well with the Conspiracy from Radical. The first is full rollers. Just like when I recommended the Archetype Hybrid for full rollers, this one has a very similar set of characteristics to that one from Track. It's super strong and has some pop off the spot and full rollers would likely match up really well with this one from Radical. The second recommendation is for bowlers with high tilt. The times I got the Conspiracy to clear the fronts, the shape off the spot was a dream. Bowlers with high tilt will much more easily clear the front part of the lane than I do, and will likely be rewarded with a great shape down lane because of it. This re-released Conspiracy from Radical might be a new take on an old idea, but in the right hands will make your scores suspiciously high. And you can pick this up today and much more at BowlersParadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to my friend Nick Pluff for the drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more balling product reviews. But as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a Bowler's Paradise. Peace.